One of the most difficult things to do as a website owner or a blogger or an internet marketer or whatever it actually is, is to come up with great new content ideas to ensure that basically you have content to write about. And that's unfortunate because Google in itself have a thing within its algorithm called the content freshness factor. And what this basically means is that Google give kudos to new up-to-date content on your website. But what if you're actually stuck and you can't think, oh God, my brain. And I know with ChatGPT, and we're going to talk about Google Bart in this, you know, these things are becoming easier. But what you really need to be doing when it comes to creating content is actually jumping on what is going on within your marketplace or within the, new, or within the news and the, the greater scope of the world and how it relates to your marketplace as well. And this is going to fulfill what is the, the Google content freshness algorithm. And it's going to help position your site as an authority that has what is called constantly updated content. OK, the more of this constantly updated content that you have, the more Google sees you as somebody whose site they want to rank in their search engines. And when they see you as a site that they want to rank in your search engines, what they do is their indexing bots actually come to your site and they come more often. So if you're only putting up content a little bit onto your website and you're um, you're expecting to rank very quickly, and get lots of people into your website, that's not gonna happen. What happens is Google has a thing called the spider. And this spider comes to your website. So let's say you're a brand new website. This spider comes to your website and it looks at your content and it goes, okay, this is a new site. It's starting to look good. It's got some blog posts on it. And it's gonna say, okay, so I'm gonna check back in a week. Okay, and what it'll do is it'll put something into its program and say, okay, I'm going to check back on this domain name in a week. Okay, now if you have another piece of content on there, it's going to go, okay, this is pretty cool. I like this. This website is creating great content. I'm going to come back maybe in six days' time. Okay, and then next of all, it's going to come back in six days' time and it's going to check to see if you have new content on there. And if you don't have new content on there, it's going to be almost like a negative uh, mark against you. So then it'll say, okay, well, they didn't have new content on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back again in 10 days time. Okay. And so what happens is it's constantly evaluating your website based on the content that you actually have on there. So what we need to be doing is enabling it to kind of go from, instead of coming from seven days to six days, back up to 10 days, we need it to be going from seven days to six days, to five days, to three days, to two days to one day to like a couple of times a day based on the fact that it knows that you're creating constantly updated content that is relevant to your niche. Now, that's what we're going to be discussing here in today's video, this idea of constantly updated content. Now, I've made a sheet for you here. OK, so this is the Google freshness factor uh, for BARD or and BARD. OK, so what I want you to do is there's instructions on here. I'm going to go through those. But down at the end here, You've got some information on the Google freshness factor as well. That's going to give you some idea of what it is. Stuff that I, I'm, just stuff that, to be honest, is, is too, uh, too much to speak about in this video. But at least you've got some learning in there that you can go down and read it. And there's not too much in there as well. Uh, but you've also got some ideas on how people could use it. So like an example would be a food blogger uh, could use Bard to write a blog post about the latest food trends, new restaurants that have recently opened or new recipes that have been created by popular chefs. OK, so. Now you're kind of going, okay, so that's that's all well and good. How the hell do we do this? Right, so it's, it's really, really simple, to be honest. Uh, the beautiful thing about BARD is that BARD is actually connected to Google. So it's connected to the search engine. So anything that appears on Google, which is being constantly updated millions of times a day, anything that appears on there, Google BARD has access to. So that basically means we can find out the information about our niche by just asking Google Bard. Now, there are a couple of things that we want to actually do, but once we find out this information from Google Bard, we can then ask Google Bard to turn that into articles for us. And then we can obviously SEO optimize and do all those kind of things. And if you want to know how to optimize SEO, et cetera, just check out my other uh, Google Bard video on SEO, which is, I'm going to uh, leave a link down in the description for you. 
but here's how you do it okay okay and also make sure that you go and you uh you grab not this one you grab this here okay so the google freshness factor for bart as you can see i've got a stack of them covered and so so i was just kind of doing this one for you um but all right so what we want to basically do is uh we want to have a look at our, our first instructions how to find update information in any industry using google bart okay and you've got a little prompt here Bard, can you generate a list of the latest news articles on, let's say, I'm going to keep it inside the brackets here. We're just going to say, let's say, affiliate marketing for beginners, okay? And the reason I say that is that's one of my niches, okay? So we won't spell it like that. We'll go beginners, okay? We're just going to press enter. And what's going to happen is Bard is just going to come back and tell me the latest news that's happening within this and it's going to give me the dates that it's appeared etc etc okay so we got ultimate beginner's guide to affiliate marketing affiliate marketing guide for so all these cool articles and then we got ones by smart passive income which is huge shopify neil patel get response authority uh Oberlow, affiliate fix making sense of sense side hustle nation so these are great ones okay so these are like the big niche sites within um within my niche okay so let's go back to the Google freshness factor. Okay, so what we could basically do then is we could ask Bard. So what it says here is ask Bard to summarize the latest research on a specific topic in our industry. So, hey, Bard. Bard, can you summarize? Can you summarize the latest research? Yeah, we can do from these. From these articles. Okay. And then we're just going to basically put it in. And what it's going to do is Bard's going to go ahead and it's going to start actually making. All right, so here's brilliant. This article provides a comprehensive overview of affiliate marketing, including choosing a niche. Okay, this article provides a step-by-step -step guide on getting started with affiliate marketing. This article is a comprehensive guide in affiliate marketing. So they're all guides, basically. So what we can basically do then is... So ask Bard to compare and contrast to different products or services. And in this instance, we're going to ask it to compare and contrast to different articles. Okay. Ask Bard to Bard, please compare and contrast the different articles listed. Okay. And what it's basically going to do is it's going to go off and actually do this for us. Now, if we come back into the Google freshness factor, here you go. You've got a, a list of the different things here. Write a blog post that summarizes, et cetera, et cetera. So once we've gone through and we found our updated information by actually looking at it through these, we then go onto our how to use this updated information to actually create a blog post for our specific niche. So, okay. Wow, all right. So a, a stack of information here it is, okay. Here's a comparison and contrast of the different articles on affiliate marketing for beginners. And we just say, that is brilliant. There's a whole load of great updated content that is in there relevant to right now. And the reason that I say it's relevant to right now is Google is picking it up as being the most relevant. Okay, so these are the new things. This is content freshness. So we're going to make a blog post out of it. Okay, write a blog post that summarizes, let's go, the latest research on, and we're just going to go on these articles. Okay. Now, you could say, if you wanted to go straight in, you could say, hey, write a blog post that summarizes the latest research on affiliate marketing for beginners, okay? Or whatever your niche actually is on these articles, okay? And what Bard is going to do is, it's going to go ahead and actually start creating an article for you based on this, okay? And as you can see, it's created an article for us right here. Okay, now if you wanted to make this bigger, all you need to say to Bard is like, for, for me personally, like I, I can read this, affiliate marketing is a great way for beginners to make money online. It's a performance-based marketing strategy where you promote other people's products, okay? So if I wanted to make this bigger, I could actually say, all right, so let's say there's um, the affiliate marketing industry is growing rapidly, content is king. Let's say I wanted to kind of go, um, oh, great, thank you. Bard, I, I'm always polite to, <laughs> to Bard and ChatGPT. You never know. You never know. So, oh, great. Thank you, Bard. Could you expand 
on the content is king section okay and then what I'm basically going to do is it's just going to give me an expanded version sure content is king is affiliate marketing is the best way to trust your audience okay and here are some examples so look there you go you have all these uh, these here write a blog post that compares and contrasts write a blog post that identifies the latest trends and developments within there you could do all of that okay and I just use affiliate marketing for beginners as, as just a simple niche okay you could do it for any niche at all that there is so look well, I hope you've enjoyed this I didn't introduce myself at the start if uh, if you if you uh, if you remember my name's Kieran this is get free and if you've enjoyed this look I, I hope I've earned your subscription I really do uh, please make sure that you uh, download this page or this sheet and get stuck into it and let me know down below what are your thoughts what's the article that you've actually created with Google Bard and there'll be links to uh, get started with Bard as well down below so keep it easy thank you so much